the world worst nuclear accident happened on April 26, 1986. An explosion of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in northern Ukraine sent 190 tons of radioactive uranium and graphite into the air. 600,000 liquidators were conscripted for the cleanup and were exposed to a massive dose of radiation. Since the accident, over 13,000 liquidators have died. The people of Chernobyl were exposed to radiation 90 times greater than that from the explosion of the atomic bomb of Hiroshima. Over 400,000 people were evacuated. More than 2,000 villages in the area were demolished. None were more affected than the children of Chernobyl. The Cold War was the period of conflict, tension, and competition between the United States and the Soviet Union and their allies from the mid-1940s until the early 1990s. Throughout the period, the rivalry between the two superpowers was played out in multiple arenas. Military coalition, ideology, physiology, and espionage, military industrial, and technological development, costly defense spending, a massive conventional and nuclear armed race, and many proxy wars. The two power clash in all categories to show one another who is better than the other, until one of them went too far. Due to the budget and money, the Soviet Union built a nuclear reactor to match power against the US. But they had a little problem. Soviet constructors rushed construction of the power plant and neglected to hire experienced workers to operate the plant. The constructors also neglected to build extra shielding and safety measures. The plant chief, Anatoly Dotov, was in charge on the day of the disaster. He had a schedule to keep. He did not go by safety protocols. He ran the experiment with inexperienced skeleton crew. The inexperienced plant operators did not watch heat thermal gauges often enough, and when the reactor overheated, they took too long to initiate reactor shutdown. The control rods were also low quality, and sometimes released too much fuel or not enough fuel in the reactor mix, causing the reactor to become too hot or not produce enough thermal energy. When the reactor finally overheated and exploded, there was not enough shielding in the plant walls and roof to keep the radiation contained inside. Without proper shielding, the radiation spread beyond the power plant and into the city of Chernobyl. The radiation fallout poisoned the land and made the crops inedible and the waters undrinkable. The civilians had no choice but to evacuate the city. The radiation has taken everyone with effects of tumor and cancer, worst of all, passing the illness to their kids. Even after the incident of Chernobyl, many children lay broken. The radiation has infected the child's organs and spine. Not only did it affect the organs and spines, victims also grew abnormally large tumors. But not all is lost. Hope still remains. In that hope, triumph leads. Thanks to the new development in the field and better medicine today than in the past, people can be more comfortable and have a higher chance of recovery. Worn out faces Bright and early for their daily races Going nowhere, going nowhere Their tears are filling up their glasses No expression, no expression Hide my head, I wanna drown my sorrow 
No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very mad.